It's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this flower. I have a few examples right here. And this, um, there's three layer, one, two, three. At each layer, there's eight petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have a few examples I made right here. So for this flower, um, I use a very very thin yarn. This is a mohair yarn. I use this and this is Red Heart Super Saver and this is almost similar yarn as this but this is slightly thicker. Okay, as you can see it is same pattern but it depends on the yarn that you use and the crochet hook that recommended by the label. You'll get different size but both using the same pattern. Okay, so um, you can use any yarn that you want, any size of crochet hook that is recommended by the yarn label. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using um, Loops and Thread Impeccable Yarn. This is 100% acrylic. And for the crochet hook, I'm going to be using 5mm. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we're going to start by making a magic circle or a magic loop. What I normally do is magic loop. How I do it is I just twist this yarn and I'm going to hold it right there, hook into this loop, yarn over and pull this yarn through the loop. Okay, so we're going to work our round one in this circle at the center. So now we're going to chain one and next we're going to make 16 half double crochet and this chain one does not count as a stitch count okay so we're going to make 16 half double crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen okay so i'm just going to double check on the stitch count one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so once you made all 16 half double crochet, now we're going to slip stitch on the first half double crochet right here. Okay, slip stitch. Now to close this hole at the middle, we just pull this tail. Okay, so now let's start round two okay now for round two we're going to chain two one two okay so we start with chain two now we're going to skip one stitch this stitch right here and now we're going to slip stitch at the next stitch okay so to start round two after you did a slip stitch from round one you chain two we're going to skip this stitch right here, the first stitch. Now we're going to slip stitch at the next stitch. Okay, so you have your chain two right here. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to skip the next stitch. So this is where we did the slip stitch. Now we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to slip stitch at the next stitch. Okay, so now we have two set of chain two. This is the first one and this is the second one. Now we're going to repeat the same until we get total of eight of this chain two space. Okay, so now we're going to make the third one, chain two, one, two. Skip the next stitch, this stitch. 
and we're going to slip stitch at the next stitch okay we're going to repeat until we get total of eight chain two space so one two three four five six seven okay after you made seven um of the chain two space number eight um this is going to be number eight chain two and we have one stitch right here now we're going to slip stitch at this first chain two space okay now we are um going to slip stitch the chain two space on um, number eight and we're going to slip stitch at this first chain two space Okay, so we're done with round two. This is how it looks like. Now we're going to start the petal. So we're going to start with chain two, one, two. We're going to make three double crochet in this chain two space. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to chain two one two now we're going to slip stitch at the same chain two space at the first chain two space okay so we're done with the first petal now we're going to repeat the same petal number one um, and we're going to do petal number two so to start petal number two or every petal we're going to slip stitch at the next chain two space okay slip stitch now we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to make three double crochet. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and slip stitch at the same chain two space. Okay, so we're done with petal number two. Now we're going to make petal number three. To start, we're going to slip stitch at this chain two space and we're going to repeat the same pattern as this pattern chain two make three double crochet chain two and slip stitch okay you're going to continue until you get total of um eight petals okay so i'll see you once you're done Okay, so after you made your um, petal number eight, you chain two, and I'm going to finish up by slip stitch at the same chain two space. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We're done with layer number one. Now I'm going to show you how to make um, the second layer, this one down here. Okay, so we're going to start by wrapping the hook in front of this um, space and um, this is the chain two um, from round two okay so we're going to do like that um same as how you do the back pose stitch so hook go around the stitch yarn over pull this yarn around and we're going to slip stitch at this loop right here okay now i'm going to show you one more time so after you're done with petal number eight you did you did the chain two and slip stitch now we're going to do layer number two so the loop is still on the crochet hook now just wrap your hook around this um bar right here in between um, petal number eight and petal number one this one right here hook in front of it yarn over and pull the yarn to the front of the pose and slip stitch at the loop okay so now 
we're going to chain four one two three four now what we're going to do is after we did chain four we're going to do the same we're going to wrap the yarn in front of this post right here and slip stitch okay so we made the first chain four space now we're going to do chain four one two three four now we're going to wrap the yarn around this post right here so whoop, in front push to the back yarn over and pull the yarn to the front and all the way to the back and slip stitch so now we made two um the second chain four space now we're going to repeat the same until we get total of eight of this chain four space so one two three four going to wrap and slip stitch so we made three three four Okay, going to make total of eight of this chain four space okay so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done with um, chain four number eight okay so once you add your chain um, chain four number eight we're going to finish up this by slip stitch at this um, the first chain four space okay so we're done now you should have total of eight of this chain four space one two three four five six seven eight okay you must have eight as i mentioned we are making eight petals um flower um three layers eight petals flower so now um we're going to make the first petal for layer number two we're going to start with chain two, one, two. Now we're going to make four double crochet in this chain four space. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. And now slip stitch at the same chain four space. Okay, so we're done with the first petal. Now for petal number two, to start petal number two, we're just going to slip stitch at the next chain four space. Okay, so slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. Make four double crochet. One, two, three, four now we're going to chain two one two and slip stitch at the same space now to start the next petal just slip stitch to the next chain four space and repeat with chain two make four double crochet chain two and slip stitch okay so go ahead and finish up until you get total of eight petals for layer number two and once you're done with um Pattern number eight, chain two and slip stitch at the same space. And next I'm going to show you how to start layer number three. Okay, so I'll see you once you're done. <clears throat> okay, so once you're done with layer number two, you make total of eight petals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, petal number eight, once you're done, you did the chain two and slip stitch at the same space. Now we're going to start layer number three. We're going to do same as how we start layer number two. So um, your loop is on the crochet hook. Just bring your hook in front of this post right here. Okay, so this is layer number two. Um, we're not going to touch layer number one anymore. So yarn over and pull the yarn through the post and slip stitch 
Okay, now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to the next post right here and we're going to do slip stitch um slip stitch so hook in front yarn over pull the yarn to the front and slip stitch okay now chain six one two three four five six and we're going to slip stitch at the next post right here so hook in front yarn over pull the yarn to the front and slip stitch okay so you're going to repeat the same chain six and slip stitch until you get total of um six of these chain um eight of the chain six space okay layer number one we did two chain layer number two we did four and layer number three we did six chain okay so go ahead and finish up um, make total of eight of this chain six space okay so i'll see you once you made all eight six chain okay so once you made total of eight of this chain six space so this is my number eight just going to slip stitch at the first um chain six space Okay, so before you start, just double check whether you have total of 8 of the space, um, ch chain 6 space. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, we're going to start the first petal. We're going to chain 2, 1, 2. Now, we're going to make 5 double crochet in the first um space right here one two three four and five now we're going to chain two one two and slip stitch at the same space okay so we're done with the first petal for layer number three, as you can see, um, one, two, three, it looks very, very pretty. Now we're going to start the next petal. So slip stitch at the next chain six space. Slip stitch. Now chain two, one, two, and we're going to make five double crochet. One. two three four and five so after you make five double crochet chain two one two and slip stitch at the same space okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern slip stitch um chain two make five double crochet chain two and slip stitch until you get total of eight petals Okay, so go ahead and finish up and I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with petal number 8, so right here I chain 2 and now I'm just going to finish up by slip stitch at the same space. Oops. Okay, so now done. To finish up, um, we're just going to slip stitch at this chain right here. So this is chain 6 where we started earlier. Um, we're just going to slip stitch at this post right here or chain number 1. We just slip stitch to secure all the stitches. Chain 1 and cut the yarn. If you want to sew this to beading, you might want to leave the tail um, slightly longer so you can use the tail to sew it to the beading. But if you just want to use this as decoration or um, to put on a hair clip, just leave it short. And we've in the end. So what I normally do is I will tie this tail right here and this tail. 
just to secure and weaving these ends okay so this is how it looks like eight petals one two three four five six seven eight and three layers one two three okay so I have few right here but I did not weave in the ends um, I really love it this is great project um, to put on the head you can make this as a headband just attach elastic behind and you can cover this um, center right here with buttons or um, the diamond decorations okay so I do hope you find this tutorial easy to follow if you have any question leave your question at the comment section down below I will try my very best to reply and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already that way you won't miss any of my future upload um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video with your fellow crochet friends and also don't forget to follow me on social media Facebook and Instagram okay so for now thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day take care everyone God bless and bye